And I said, if you got to hold him in the fourth grade, you got to hold him in the fourth grade. Oh, Anyways, hey. Let's do this, sugar. Hey, Gene. I think the kid's sleeping. Come on, Randy. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> it's the bedroom on the left. <laughs> it's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. <laughs> I'm Dan Soto. That's Big Jericho. And this is music that your mom gets bound to. Bound. Our be- guests today from the Amigos podcast, Amigo, uh, the world's Amigo, Mike Fenoya. Thank you. And um, the hour special coming out Friday at 11 p.m. on Comedy Central called Positive Influence, the Sam Morrell. It's going to be so good. Thank so you, So good. So goddamn good. You will enjoy it. DVR it right now, you motherfuckers. Or I will come to you with my new knife collection and bring hell with it. I got excited. Me and Christine's relationship has kind of spanned the time of me watching guys like Sam, Mark Norman, uh, and those guys that like come through New York and come. And it's, it's great to see you guys who. I mean, I'm in the same class. As that, I, I mean, would say, with Sam. Soda was a little before us. I mean, a little. You were. You were like a yeah. little bit before them. But to see these guys who were, I was already kind of like looking outward. Yeah. You know, what I mean, not looking uh, back. Seeing these guys who just caught my attention for how funny they were. And that cream is rising to the top, man. It's fucking yeah. fantastic to see. Always man. rising, yeah. <laughs> cream, cream always rises. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, we started talking earlier about post comedy, which uh-huh. I, I'm always excited to, to get into it about. We, we try not to drag anyone's specials by name and anything, but uh, I don't know what the hell. Everything's a new. Uh, Norm McDonald just spoke on this actually on Stern today. It's pretty uh, interesting. His take on it. He said you think he, he loses he goes, the show? I love when no. he says he goes. I hope. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised, but I, I really hope he does. I hope not, it but I wouldn't different. be surprised either. But he, uh, you know, it's it's funny how fast they could fucking turn on you. But Stern, he said on Stern today, it was a great line. He goes, "Well, Stern's like, yeah, well, Norm, you kind of always subscribe to, you know, comedy's supposed to just be funny. It's not supposed to have to make a point. Mm-hmm. It's got to be funny." He goes. Call me old fashioned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is a great like, f- like definitive line to make for that. I don't understand why. There are these people who are like, it's got to be anti-authority. It's got, and you're just like, well, some comics can just make jokes. Yeah. Not right. everything has to have, uh, you know. Why is it not okay? A message. Um, yeah, it's it's a weird thing where, I think all comedians are pushing back in a certain way of like this kind of don't tell us what to joke about, right. and then now they're also saying like. And there's no jokes. <laughs> like, don't joke around about, like, you can't choose what you joke around about, and don't make it funny. Because it's, there, there just seems to be a thing of outrage, begots more outrage, and they just can keep stirring the pot and being like, I'm fucking mad! And it's like, it's an, it's a, it's an activity now to get mad about shit that you read online. Yep. It's like a thing you can do. It's like playing a video game. You're like, I'm gonna go on Twitter and get fucking furious about some shit and maybe take away someone's fucking job. And it's like, it's kind of fucking crazy. I it's, think a lot of comics yeah. that I think are uh, Of course hilarious. he compounds oh. it. Because what he said is, we, Christine just pulled up an article that says Norm McDonald. The joke he made after the whole thing? Yeah, which I told told you that's the one joke i heard that ryan beck even like uh text dm me to be like dude it's hilarious but norm mcdonald said you you know to not think the me too, to not think me too was good he's like yeah i'd have to have down syndrome and so that's like <laughs> oh that's yeah. fucking amazing. so he was like defending the me too movement <laughs> but and still he's didn't like, do it right and then he didn't do it right and like right. ah points and he didn't say the r word yeah. <laughs> he said the actual medical term yeah when discussing the trauma that sexual abuse victims face mr mcdonald said that of course he understood the consequences <laughs> he went on to say you'd have to have down syndrome my new <laughs> word my sister interrupted <laughs> my new word. down syndrome good word my new word <laughs> Word. I mean, it's I just funny when so you break much. down hilarious people talking. Like, if they did this with our, if they, if you wrote an article like our show, like they talked, they slut shamed moms. It's like we were talking about our <laughs> own moms getting fucked. Did you know how, you know how incredibly exposing that is how to painful? yourself to be like, yeah, I remember these awful comments that I'm laughing about at 35 with some of the best comics in the world. Yeah, yeah. I well, think you guys are super self deprecating, and it's like, it, it, I think it all started with when comedy became super personalized, and when like the story became bigger than the joke yeah you know what i mean when when it could be like oh this can go on for seven minutes with no punchlines, and then there's like one big pop at the end you're like well that's a, well, that's not a bit that's yeah. that's a different genre of comedy and it's cool that comedy's expanding but don't tell us that it has to be this one fucking thing that's yeah. my argument tell comedy with yeah. jokes that's point for point my exact argument about it I, I, it's my problem with the nanette uh what you know hannah gatsby comments after that was you're cutting out so many comics who I love by saying that comedy has to have a much greater point. And I'm like, so Dave Attell, 
Brian Regan. Brian Even Regan. Carrot Top. Should Carrot Top, could Gaffigan. multi-millionaire Carrot Top not be, I know, right? not be in comedy somehow? I mean, how do you argue like... But it's good know. for comedy that it's broadening. Of course. And the yeah. Hannah Gatsby thing is good for comedy. Even, that means it's being taken more seriously. And it's good to have different parts of comedy. But don't tell us... It's like the most closed-minded people telling us that comedy has to be this one thing. It's, well, it's the also, dumbest argument. There's also some people that are sneaking into comedy, and Tim Dillon made this argument perfectly, that there's some unfunny people that are trying to fucking kneecap other people to be like, ah, this is my thing, you're out. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't do the thing you did. I couldn't be totally. funny. Right. So now I can't be funny, so I'm gonna kneecap you, and now right. my, I, what I do is funny, and you're like, but that's still not funny. In order to break the rules, you have to know the rules. You know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. like some shitty-ass <laughs> director, and you're like, well, no, you gotta know how to make a good movie. You can't just make a shit movie and be like I did that on purpose <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, ridiculous. It's, Even it's, at some point in there, Norm Macdonald said, he goes, you know, it's not, it's a one-man show. It's not a stand-up special. And he goes, and those are, I completely respect those. Yeah. Like, he was being, like, serious and, like, sentimental. He's like, those are great. I think the templates that lead comedy change, when I think when I was coming up, the templates at the time mm -hmm. were very much a tell, Dane Cook. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd see molds. Maybe Mar Mark Maron sort of had that in like the alternative circuit. But the kind of molds you kind of, when you're doing your creative character in a video game, it's yeah. like where you start. And, right. and my, my, me, Kurt, <laughs> everyone was definitely in the vein of like watching a tell and being like, I, and I don't even think, uh, Kurt, I guess more so, but I never even had my comedy was never in the vein of a tell so much, like set well, up joke. But it's in the voice of the style of the uh, genre. Sure. But the I, genre of is what I mean. But you're going to be influenced by someone who's much greater at it than you are when you start. Of course, right. but all the templates used to at least, if nothing else, Mark Maron, whoever you choose in that vein, Sarah Silverman for a long time Louis. for girls. Hedberg. Yeah. Louis. All of them were like, uh, there was no argument that it was like funny or not funny. The templates that people start following start getting further away from funny. And falsely so, it was like a Doug Stanhope that became a big template, a, like a generation behind me in comedy. You know what's crazy? Because that was my generation, and I saw Stan a lot Hope, of guys being yeah. like. But Stanhope pulls off it's a, this unique thing he does, and he's very, very funny the right. whole way through. Exactly. Well, you're, you're, and you're, a lot of people come out and, and mistake funny for like I'm going to hammer home a point yes. you people don't want to hear. Like you and just you just go against the grain and yep. then walk off stage where he's going against the grain and then making you laugh. You know, there's right. a yeah, thing right. behind. What you're talking about seeing coming up. What I saw coming up is you'd see guys that weren't funny that were doing the stand hope and mm -hmm. kind of disguising not being funny under like what you guys don't want to hear about this my plans for abortion. <laughs> it's too it's like, real yeah. for it's you. Not, it's just Can't not funny. Handle you're it. just not fucking funny dude but norm right. called it out too on stern today same person i'd say kind of like that stan hope was the beginning of that the template yeah. that people put him or hicks to. to another extent. hicks sure hicks yeah. was before that yeah, yeah. absolutely but, but stan hope's hilarious or like lenny bruce was, before that right yeah I mean, there John, used to be like two political comics it was like lenny bruce and then mort saul and then yeah, it was yeah. like everyone now it's like everyone's like here's the problem with trump that's like, true done two open mics but john stewart <laughs> saying john stewart was the other one that kind of subtly even he wasn't doing stand-up necessarily i know he is a stand-up yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. not doing stand-up like that thing well i came like, like kind of like that preach Thing, but that's a show. It's a different format. But Stewart's a great joke writer. Like his, Fantastic. His no, no, he's hilarious. Weapon, but, but that, I agree with you, but it's like that. there's that now, like those guys who are just doing the, here's my point, though, like yeah. couldn't handle it, can't, the walking people and thinking it's cool. It's like, no, Bill Hicks would go to fucking Alabama and Arkansas and kill with these liberal That's what bits. I'm saying. Right. That's, the, that's the power of that. He was funny and he had like joke, like jokes. Like right. you'd watch him be like, fuck man. And he was, he was taking it to them. He was taking away yeah, games. Dude. He wasn't at some safe Nate makes space. you laugh with him at the idea that he doesn't believe in uh, evolution. Someone, yeah. I mean, it's hilarious. <laughs> Giannis Papas. That's a testament to how fucking funny someone can be with a joke. Totally. Doesn't matter. Credits to Gian, totally. Credit to Giannis Papas. In 2009, he goes, do you know who the most alternative comic in New York City is? Nate Bargatze. He's like, yeah. he's a southern guy. How about guy. Joe Mackey, dude? Yeah, he's a southern guy yeah. saying yeah. Walmart's great in these Brooklyn <laughs> rooms, and they're like, ah! Yeah. He's like, I don't that's even have true. to put stuff back. And you're like, that's a testament to great comedy. Is when, like, Bill Burr, uh, like, watching him explode. Right. I remember going to his shows, his live show to Caroline's. He'd start a thing where you're like, ah, oh, fuck, this is, what? I don't agree with that. And then just, by the end, he's just hammering home funny. Yeah. And you're like, ah, that's fucking hilarious. But you're right, Joe Mackey. Joe Nick Mackey's DiPaolo. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. But Mackey's like a guy who's fucking hilarious. And if you sit and talk to him, you're like, oh, we don't have... 
Our morals do not. <laughs> You're such a better person than yeah, he really, me. He makes me want to go take a shower yeah, every time I hang but out. But Ryan him, Hamilton. So Ryan Hamilton's not a guy where you're like, this is clean comedy. You just watch him like, this guy's fucking hilarious. So good. Like, I didn't cuss once. Yeah, but it doesn't mean <laughs> it's better or worse. It just means he's fucking super funny. Yeah. So to take the funny out of it, I think is like, it's, it's I don't know. Do you think it's a template now? It's just... I think the templates, people are look, they're just looking to the wrong templates now because you want to make headlines over... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like over, going to an ice cream it, it, store and they're being like, ice cream's not going to be sweet anymore, okay? <laughs> you, I'm not saying anyone's lying about anything, but you can get a legit chance for a career bump if you fucking say somebody, hara- if you're like a young comic, girl yeah. comic, <laughs> and you say somebody with power did something to you, you can get a bump. Like you, can get, you get a momentary s- minute in the spotlight to try to bump, and I think some people do that for sure, and then, which I think, I always hate that because it trivializes real victims of shit. Yeah. Like the people that use it. Well, that's what Joe Mackey molested me. Oh, yeah, that's a huge bump. By the way, your special's coming out. <laughs> yeah. Joe Mackey. Perfect Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going to touch happen. you now. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out! Get those pants off. <laughs> Here we go, Buckaroo. It's touch time, baby. Yeah. yeah. I think I told you I was Sardo. watching Bill Maher uh, today that Jim Carrey was just on. Yeah. At the end of it, he uh, he goes no, he's like defending Al Franken, which I'm not even against yeah. defending Al Franken, but it's just like we. I said this to you outside. It's so funny, like. Al Franken, there's a picture of him doing the, it's the joke picture of him squeezing the girl's yeah, tits. I don't think right. it's a major deal, but... It's a USO tour, if the right? Girl I mean, it's, did, it's all about sex and if whatever. The, <laughs> if the girl did have a problem with it, then, 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 then he shouldn't have done that. And whatever the people yeah. are saying is, is a lot of like... Al Franken accusations are like, he really squeezes pretty tight when he puts his armor on your waist for a picture. And it's like, okay, yeah. so Bill Maher's lobbying like, well, listen, I believe Al Franken, so... I think well, you believe come, your friends. <laughs> I think he should come back and run for something. And I know, and I go, at the same time, really, if your major sticking point of Trump's thing, like what piece of shit he is in that regard, he said to another dude that he thought the cameras were off, you can fucking just touch a chick's pussy when you're famous, man. They love it. That's really what he did. You know what yeah. I mean? And I'm no fan of Trump. Get him but, out of office tomorrow. I don't give a shit. Like, but you made, a, you made a point <laughs> after that that it's like it's like when you're dating someone. This was the point that I was <laughs> yeah, like, this yeah. is hilarious. Because you like, eventually people's wives, at one point someone's husband or wife was their boyfriend or girlfriend. Yep. And you had a dirty conversation with your friend about that person. Absolutely. Like, oh, yeah. fuck's like a champ, dude. Yeah. It's, and then like two years later, you're like, that's my fucking son's mother. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, you told me that she deep throat did you on the second date? You're like, oh, that was a good date. <laughs> Dean Edwards, oh, those were the days. Yeah. For early in me and Christine dating, Dean Edwards, um, he were standing outside of a comedy club. Christine came out and walked back in, and he looked at Christine from the back, and he looked at me with like a, he didn't know I was dating her. Yeah. And he goes, I saw his face getting ready to say something, so you want to give him that like, yeah, yeah. I, go, I go, dude, I said, I mean, uh, me and her dating. He goes, oh, nice. And I was like, oh, yeah, dude, she throws it down. Like, right away, I'm going, she throws it down, dude. Yeah, but I mean, Christine. That's like women, a good friend interception. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> women, women do that. I mean, that's that's across the board, right? Yeah. Like, you definitely was, told a girl about yeah. how I fuck or something about it. How yeah. would you not? Yeah, like. I don't know if it changes so much from, like, a guy you're dating to. <laughs> Like that's my husband. I think, but I think that no, that's territorial. Over, no, but I think that women are more territorial. But I think over time, you you discuss less. Both sexes discuss less sexually. Yeah. about their partners with their friends. And also, nobody wants to hear about the sex you're having with your wife. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's, it's like, disgusting. Like, dude, me and Lisa it's like, dude, really the, I was like, fuck yeah, hammer man. it down. God, me and Catherine, dude, we go fucking Mrs. crazy. Fenoya, oh right? God, Mrs. Fenoya and you love each other so much. But yeah, I said I wanted to make like a joke about that. Is that every uh, guy, yeah. every every perfect family you see with a husband and wife who love each other and three kids in a beautiful house. <laughs> yeah. At some point, that guy went to one of his buddies and yeah. was like, dude, that dirty girl I went out with last night? She goes, fucking takes it to the balls, dude. I mean, she, I've never seen a girl take dick <laughs> like then, this. And then just, Pretty impressive. And, and then, then like, oh. five years later, it's like, ah, ah. she's like, Johnny, you help me in the kitchen? And you're like, oh, weird. She's, she's the strongest woman I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, that's what my I hero. saw her go through in that delivery room has changed my she's whole my opinion hero. about women. That's my hero holding my other hero. <laughs> my baby girl. Oh, God. I can be Seven, year, seven years earlier is all, dude, that chick sucks dick like a fucking monster, bro. <laughs> Eight years later, there she is. That's my baby. Right? That's really? my queen. My baby holding my baby. Baby holding my baby. <laughs> but with that Bill Maher thing, I'm just, he's coming out for Al Franken and defense Al Franken. It's just like, 
Yeah. Yeah. It's like your buddy. It's, You're it's, calling yeah. for your for it's, it's okay for your buddy. Everything's so okay, yeah. liberals. If yeah. you want to write off Al Franken, Kyle Dunnigan's yeah. Bill Maher. Oh my is god, amazing. fucking spot. Okay. Oh, he's so funny. It's yeah. perfect. The best. Yeah, he's hilarious. But it, everything's so bipartisan now that it, that doesn't matter anymore. You know what I mean? Like he's on that team, so Bill Maher's on that team. Right. It's like Ooh. I'm defending that. If Trump was on his team, he would defend that. That's yeah. just what it is now. It's so fucking split. It's 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 laughable. But that's it's ev- that bipartisan. That's it's like, everything. Too, but it's though. also shitty once people defend someone and then like with Norm, it's like, well, even if you don't agree with him, which I'm sure most people don't, based on this, I mean, to just er- I don't like the erasing of people. I don't like the yeah. you're now banned from this show. Yeah, you're now not allowed. It's such mob bullshit. Yeah, it really is. But even in the positive too, when they go back to. Uh, Oh, but what's this? I was going to say, Reed, this, this kind of touches on that a little bit. Just this idea of like, uh, yeah. like we banish people now when they fuck up. Like so you're just it, done I mean, for good. I've been saying it's like a, it feels like now culture is like a figure skating routine. Like you fall down and like, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, he fell. Yeah. He you, fucking slipped. Over, yeah. you don't but he wrote, uh, what you highlighted, Norm MacDonald said, I meet, uh, I meet all kinds of women that have <laughs> terrible stories about what happened to them. MacDonald said. I wasn't talking about the victims. They asked me about Roseanne. They asked me about Chris Hardwick. They asked me about Louie, and I told them, you know, if someone murders someone, you know, and goes to jail, right? <laughs> and then uh, and then he gets out of jail after 10 years, and you go, I'm going to give this guy a job washing dishes because he's done his penance. Nobody goes, well, what about the people he murdered? Well, of course. They had it off worse. I was, it turned into a Mulaney at the end. I apologize. <laughs> Tried to keep it McDonald, but it moved into a Mulaney. No, look, he makes a good point. And they said they asked him about something specific, and I don't think they spun his words necessarily. I just mean... But oh. I'm saying people now, because of how comfortable we live, it's it's an activity to get fucking furious yeah, online. Totally. You yeah. can, I can choose right now to go online and find something that fucking makes me angry under tipping a fucking you know yeah you yeah. can just pick something it's so there. addictive but i mean the big thing again i think a lot of comics great ones and i think me personally floating like the gray area mm-hmm. of the world like seeing the ridiculous on both sides right. and it's yeah. kind of, right, kind of right, pick it right. apart on all, but it's not that way. Like most of the world needs you to like pick this fucking side. Well, I don't That's my know. point. It makes, it makes me anymore. so one makes me hate, like or, or want to not like the other thing. How much I'm just inundated with anti-Trump shit. Yeah. I know he. So I wish I me. I wish Obama could just be president again tomorrow. Just because, like, oh, everybody just be happy now and, like, shut up. Yep. But the way they talk about it goes, we had an amazing president who got the world back on track. And I'm like, I bet if you, du- if I was a pol- politics person who dug deep, I bet there's plenty of Obama policies that are fucking su- Nothing to do with his black or white, just shitty pop, but he knows how to get on the thing. He did that speech, was it la- the end of last week? It was the best. It was better fucking than- amazing. The yeah, guy's yeah. Like, like smooth jazz that calms you down, but he didn't say shit. He did, there's yeah. nothing well, to also, do. Trump is he said like, vote. He Trump said go is vote. like yep, a it. professional troll. So it's like <laughs> yeah. people that hate him, it's just gonna, you're just going to keep <laughs> hating him more and more <laughs> yeah. every day. He's doing really the thing... You're doing the thing he wants you to do. Yeah. When he's being like, you're stupid. You're like, what the fuck did you say? <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he just starts grinning. He goes, I said you're stupid. Jim Carrey, pretty smart thing he actually did say of all the goofy Jim Carrey shit he does. Yeah. Well, that's, I think he that's said what, on. That's what hundreds of millions of dollars, two decades of hundreds yeah. of millions of dollars yeah, yeah. in yeah. well, you lose all about fucking yourself. touch. In once you, once you start painting, something happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> George Smith. Bush and Jim Carrey, that's who it is? Yeah, yeah. Bush and Carrey. Have I told you those were the painters? <laughs> of the fucking new generation. <laughs> and Hitler. Yeah, uh, well, that didn't go well. Uh, Jim Carrey came out, for, uh, first I said he came out wearing like Nikes, making a yeah. big Colin Kaepernick thing, whatever, but then he goes, uh, he's like lobbying, I talked to Dave Smith about this, and it is funny, he's, he's lobbying for socialism in a country that capitalism has made him a bazillionaire. Yeah. And I'm yeah. certain, as Dave said to me, he's like, I'm certain he hasn't given of two hundred million dollars, I'm sure he hasn't given one hundred ninety nine million to like charity in good faith. He's like, I need a little bit to live off of. <laughs> it's just people are looking to be angry, and you can be angry. Calling all the celebrities, and he told me, Dave Smith told me too that Bill Burr is a joke. I don't think I've ever heard. It made yeah. me laugh about all this. I go, it's made me not like watching Alec Baldwin stuff, even if he's funny. Yeah, because mm. he was just one of the guys. Like, if Trump wins, I'm moving to Canada. It's like. 
Well, that's not an even impressive thing to say. Like, so you're going to go live in a mansion in Canada? Like, yeah. congratulations. You're still yeah. rich. I don't give a fuck it's where you like live. You... Like, Phil Collins lives in Switzerland. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Like, you can know, I hear exactly. his I actually, They say I it's actually like moving to Fallujah. It's I... like you're moving to fucking nice country. Yeah, it's oh, not that. It's Canada's not that a nice place. You guys keep playing this way, and I'm going to move to a nice 17th century Victorian <laughs> in London. Yeah. I mean, like, well, I, won't, oh, I won't enjoy it. But he I said, won't be. he said, Bill Burr's got a joke. He goes, how narcissistic to even announce that to the world. Yeah. You think when someone's getting ready to pull that lever, he goes, I want to vote for Trump, but I don't want to lose share. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fucking yeah. that's brilliant. That's such a funny ticket for that. That would affect your decision. Goes, well, Alec Baldwin's going to move. <laughs> what if Jim Carrey goes back to Canada? It's, it's so weird, man, because it's like, um, this is uh, a symptom of comedy being very popular. It's like, pe- there's yeah. a lot of money involved now. So totally. people are making money in different ways. In some ways that people have found money. One of my favorite people to watch, if you are born Board and you have Instagram, follow Michael Che, Che Thinks, and watch his posts about comedy bloggers that he calls Megan's. Megan's, I love it, dude. And it's one, oh. of, it's one of, it's some of the funniest reading, because he just proves time and time again, he's like, there's people just out there just to say they hate shit, mm-hmm. just so people will click, just so that other other websites will share their clickbait. Yeah, and he just like it points is. it out in such a way that it's so fucking funny that it is it's it's an interesting to watch because him now commenting is an activity the way them getting mad about comedy is an activity. So it just feeds off yes. itself. It's this weird incestuous like okay now I can watch this person get mad about this and what's this person's opinion about this right. person getting mad. Taking Twitter off my phone. Greatest thing in the world, I bet. It's Ari on- Shafir follows no one, and yeah. he's got like hundreds of thousands of followers. But I'm so like jealous of him. To oh, be, he's, like, he doesn't have just, like the smartphone. He's, he's never. He's got a flip phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip phone. He, I mean, it's flip phone. Is yeah. Yeah. But just, it really is the thing where it's uh, you can, when you get off like um, when you is this like a blog about it? This were the screenshots from him where he it was right after he defended Louis and then he, he was posting other blogs. Yeah, that yeah. became it news. Exactly when Jay, his opinion. It's when Jay admirable how Louis reckless he is, you know, for his fame with the status he has. No, the job I, I he's think got. that's what I, that's what I always like. I he's love. been a part of some fucking deep Legion of Skanks and SDR episodes. Damn. Jay, <laughs> but Jay's like <laughs> he goes for it, never gets in trouble. I love like, but I'll tell you this: funny. He's, he's funny. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. He's just fucking never, hilarious. Never a whiff of hack. He's a great comic. No, yeah, and that's a nice dude. But I think that's also what you're seeing is and that's back to that Tim Dillon argument where yeah. it's like a lot of unfunny people trying to take down being like yeah. fuck this guy's funny I got a I got a shot and I'm not talking yeah. about everybody I'm talking about malicious people that are in this business town criers who don't write fucking jokes yep. who are like we just have to be like oh they're funny I guess yeah. they've well, so I was saying, you could, but it's been proven. If you make some allegation, you'll get your moment to possibly pop and break through. Do you know what I mean? Well, you, they'll get your shot, but it won't be a, it won't be a long lasting shot. Like, it's funny who I talk to, especially like across the board. I'm not talking about just white dudes. I'm talking about like when I talk to Michelle Wolf or or like Marina Franklin, and you talk to these people, and you're like, yeah, it's bullshit, and they're like, oh yeah, there's a lot of bullshit around yeah. here right now. Yeah. There's it's a lot really of this. Weird. A lot of this is filled with fucking murk and the like. This is bullshit. Yeah. Look uh, for whatever you think of the special even like Drew Michael says pretty early in his thing about like this dis- disability that word it's like yeah. so he has to separate himself I'm a straight white man but I have a hearing thing yeah. the guy who's <laughs> way- that's, that's how far it's gone now. who's wailing it <laughs> guys I'm, I have a, it I'm is. slightly off I go, in terms I have, of it how, is I'm not I go, perfect I have a stigma so <laughs> do you know, but do you have to agree how important that is in that special for what he's trying to I'm a straight white with. but I there are some colors I can't make out fully <laughs> yeah so. <laughs> <You're> colorblind <laughs> uh, I'm a straight white guy but my cursive is off <laughs> can, I get, can I get an hour the guy who, dexterous. I went to bronchitis it's been it's been up and down yeah. the know? guy who is murdering on America's Got Talent. I mean, walking his way to the finals yeah. is a guy who has Tourette's. Okay. So his eye blinks a little bit, and it's every joke is about it. And they standing ovation him every single time. I've never heard of him before. But I mean, it is, it's, it's so direct. It's so direct to like. Play it. He, Just enjoy. Fuck you, Heidi. Sorry. Sorry. Does he have, pause it. Pause it. Pause I, it. I think I Andrew hear, Schultz looks great. I hear a slight wigger accent. Am I wrong? <laughs> well, it's more. Am it's I not wigger. I'd say it's fat black Southern mama voice for some uh, reason. Like he's got he's waffles back. in the back. It kind of sounds like Cleveland a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh. Right? Is that Black Lou? Yeah, Am I dude. right? Okay. Recently. Oh yeah. What's up, girl? Oh totally. Anyways, no, this guy's yeah. only black. Sir. Mm. He has jokes. He's, 
Did he jokes you... about being at like black house parties and the cops come and think he's like, uh, what, you fill in the blank. Go ahead, Dan. What do you do? Right, this is Christine's favorite game to watch me do. Yeah, as we're sitting and watching, she goes, the Dana. cops come to the party and they go, and I go, just pause. Like, are you okay? <laughs> do you need some help? I'm like, he's my friend. <laughs> and it's like, and just hit play and watch it happen exactly like I, I said. I'm not joking when I say this. You probably saw it because you lived with him, but Sam, it's a legitimate talent that Jay has <laughs> to like, he'll know a hacky premise <laughs> and finish the joke in a way that you're like, that's fucking crazy. It's unbelievable. I, I, I did them get, all on get... Super 8 tape in between my mom's tit shows. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can do some of them. It's in like between a that, I'm yeah. fucking, I'm, I'm humping. Like, you go. It's my mom fucking, I'm fucking stools in you between. Go, this, like... the way, this the way Big J. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go, Jay, oh my God, are you in a FUBU shirt <laughs> humping the stage? Uh -huh. But it is one of those talents. It's like crossword puzzles. It's amazing. I'm not, I can get the easy ones, but Jay's like, no, oh, 19 down? That's uh, an amorphous. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, huh? How the fuck did you get that? Yeah, you nailed them. I remember you would tell me that you and Jay would go to like governors and see like just some well, guys we, pop we did, in. No, 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 oh, no, 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 specific no. night. We went one night. Oh, uh, okay. And it was very specific. I don't want to say the name if you don't want Nick wanna. Cannon. Okay. We watched his special on this show. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, we broke down his latest special on this show. Pete Davidson got us tickets. Yeah. He was like, do you want to? He's like, I'm opening up for Nick Cannon. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Sadly, it was before the gun shaped microphone era of Nick Cannon. But, yeah. you know, Which is okay. so, you know what? You, t you talk about like jumping in on it, but it, the, he is like a guy that went from being like, man, I'm so rich. Show business is so awesome to being like, I'm woke. What's all this fucking problem? What? It was like almost by the next special where you're like, that much of a character shift? Like, if I do my next special and it's all about like communism and socialism, like, <laughs> what is Soder doing? I'm like, let me tell you the problem. It's the alt-right Soder special. Yeah. Alt-right, I'm just like, America that I knew is gone. <laughs> Bring back Colorado. Monster, monster truck, damn. Viacom, more like Viacon. They're conning right. you, America. Bro, it's a believe in Comedy Wake Central's up. funny. Oh, dude, that's alt-left That's alt -left Dan. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. That'd be great if you just shift back and forth, just yeah. alt-Dan. I don't know who I am. Right. I, it's like the Terminator scene where he's in the lava melting into different people. <laughs> and just like, oh, fucking abortion's good and bad. Oh, no. Oh, well, I, like, I like fucking alt left Dan. Alt -left. Why don't you make uh, illegal immigrants CEOs of companies? Deuces. Deuces. You just go, you just go thoughts. thoughts. Pause screen. I want to know. Thoughts. We're coming to America. You call it an audience member? I need an audience member to beatbox for my clothes. Yeah, I go, uh, up in the sky, look around. <laughs> it's a slam poetry. <laughs> if anybody says they have crazy thoughts in their comedy special, get the I turn fuck. it off. Yeah, get the fuck it's out It's going of right off. <laughs> what if you do, though? You go, I'm schizophrenic. Uh, they, they, gave me a, they gave me a special. Yeah, yeah. It's a real risk. Unless it's followed by actual crazy thoughts, not just a shitty hack joke you wrote. He goes, Oh, man, I got just nutty thoughts, man, going through my head all the time. It's like, I just look at Christine sleeping there next to me, and I'm like, I could just choke her and say she died in her sleep. I could put a pillow over her face and hope she'll never be able to stop. Dude, nutty thoughts, man. Dude, I could so kill a dog. Keep me up weeks. I'm so loco. I'll, I'll take a shit. I'll look at it and I'll go, Should I eat that? <laughs> yeah. Should I eat that shit? For like a half that hour, that I'll have this like, argument in my head. Eat me, eat I go, me motherfucker. Yeah. I take a cold shower with my clothes on, <laughs> and I go, if I could suck a ghost's dick, would I do it? Crazy thought.